I think it's important because oftentimes we don't, as, as fathers and as men, we don't really talk about things that we're feeling or how we're feeling. We have this tendency to just keep things inside and, and just try to deal with things internally. And so we could be going through a lot. And so there has to be somebody who comes forward and speaks out about how we're feeling and what we're doing and sharing our experiences. And once we do that, we can motivate and inspire other fathers to do the same thing, to share their feelings and their experiences. And once we come together as fathers and as men, you know, talking together and sharing experiences, I think that affects us on a more positive level, emotionally and, and, and mentally. I didn't grow up with my father. Uh, he, was, he, was in, he was in and out, but for the most part, I was raised by my mom. And so I had this tendency to, to you know, once I grew up and once I had children of my own, to be a better father than my father was to me. The thing I was most nervous about after becoming a dad, I will tell you, taking my son home from the hospital and he, having his little bitty body up in that car seat, it was, it was so nerve wracking, you know, making sure that I got him home safely, you know, without any incidents. So I was very, very nervous of taking him home, you know, from the hospital in that car seat with his little bitty self in there. <laughs> then finding out that he had a, a diagnosis, an autism diagnosis, that also made me nervous because I never really experienced uh, firsthand a uh, family member having some type of special needs. And so how would I go about life raising this, this young boy who has some very, very special needs, who who can't speak, who still needs assistance with, with everyday daily living activities. So how would I go about life, you know, raising him and making sure that he's able to do the things that a lot of us often take for granted. One of the things that we that really made us want to move back home to Mississippi was the the need to have that family support and being being around family to help us, you know, raise our children or be a part of our children's lives. And I feel I felt and still feel very much very well supported. I think I I think just the knowledge of of autism would have been you know once we got the diagnosis we we educated ourselves the most as much as possible and we're doing that more and more you know as, as life goes on but even back then that initial shock of getting that diagnosis and not really knowing what to do and 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 how to react to certain things so even back then just being a little bit more knowledgeable even on that Definitely with my son's teacher, uh, who's a special education teacher, his occupational therapist, his speech therapist, you know, working hand in hand with them uh, is, is, a, is of great support. And I'm always talking about organizations like Families as Allies. Definitely engaging with organizations such as Families as Allies is of, is, is of great support, especially when you're talking about how your child is being engaged and treated in the school system. Definitely having organizations like that to tap into is a, it, it's a great support uh, to me and my family. Just constantly staying engaged. You know, there, as fathers, we have this tendency to, there's this idea that, that we're the workers, that we go out and we make the money and we bring the money in and we're just, and that's pretty much our role. And sometimes we, we lose sight of you know, things that they're going through, things that they're doing in that effort. And so there are a lot of things we miss out on. So I would, the thing for me, just constantly staying engaged, you know, being there to see those first steps, to see those academic gains in schools, to see those social emotional gains within themselves. And so for me, that's probably one of the, the biggest things about being a father for me is, is not only providing, but to also be present. I would just say my dream for for fathers is is to to do what's what what we're doing right now is to continuously have a conversation, continuously to engage with one another, 
and to just come together and, and help one another out, you know, and, and just be to be of support to one another and not doing this thing that we call fatherhood in silos, right? Come together, let, you know, let's meet. And, and I think the whole Zoom thing is allowing us to, to do more of that, you know. How, how do we come together and share, as you mentioned earlier, experiences and tips and strategies on fatherhood? So my dream is that, that we that we just come together as fathers and, and just be of support to one another.